Get ready for two minutes full of JavaScript tricks you will actually use a lot. So fasten your seatbelt and let's go. Arrow functions come with a cleaner syntax. They don't use the function keyword nor the curly brackets like conventional functions. Here we define an arrow function which returns the sum of a and b. Notice that we don't use the return keyword because arrow functions without the curly brackets have an implicit return. Next, let's have a look at default function parameters. They are like backup values if an argument is undefined. Here, we define a function greet with a parameter name, which we give the default value stranger. We call greet without any value, so the default value stranger gets logged. The function constructor lets us define functions at runtime. To use the constructor, write new function. A and B are the params of the function, followed by the implementation return A plus B. Let's log the result of two and three. The spread operator is very useful for copying objects or arrays. Let's copy the values of the first array to the second one using the spread operator. Now the log contains all of the numbers. By filtering an array, you pick out only the values you want from a list. If the callback of the filter method returns true for an item, it will remain in the resulting array. Array map lets us turn each item of the array into something new. For example here, we double the numbers of the array and as you can see, the result contains the original numbers multiplied by 2. Object destructuring lets you break down an object to get specific values easily. Here we are destructuring the name and age properties of the person object. We give country a default value and now we got three variables which we can log individually. Using optional chaining, you save code by avoiding if statements for deep checks. When accessing the property of an object, just use the question mark for a quick undefined check. Short circuit evaluation quickly decides a value based on logic without extra checks. The logical OR lets us do something if a value is false. Here, assigning default name to the display name variable. The logical AND lets us do something if a value is true. We only print the log if is log is true. Template literals make it easy to create strings with variables and formatting. Let's define two variables, name and country, and log a template literal. Template literals are enclosed within backticks. And to insert a value, we have to write dollar and in curly brackets the name of the variable. Okay, that's it for today. For more content like this, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.